Hi everybody. Lots of students at the moment are busily researching, drafting, writing essays for the Royal Economic Society competition, which finishes at the end of June. So I thought I'd put together this short video uh, showing you how to reference an essay in the style and the format which we now regard as essential. So put very bluntly, uh, but clearly I hope, your essay for the competition must be referenced. It must be referenced properly for it to stand a chance of, of winning or being highly commended, for example, which is a tremendous accolade given the quantity of essays and the quality that we get every year. And that standard goes up from year to year. It's very exciting. So we're going to take a little example to show you how you can reference an essay. And there's some various tools on the internet which will help you along the way. So don't feel too daunted about it. Actually, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward. And it's a skill that if you take into university will save you a lot of time in a year or two's time. So let's have a look. Here's a question. A uh, question is about uh, Uber and Airbnb. Should they be regulated? I'm sure it'll be a popular choice among students this year because it's uh, two businesses that are always in the news, raise lots of interesting e-commerce questions. I put a bit, a bit of sample text arguing that US economist Jared Mayer has argued that Uber is disruptive business, increased competition and broad like gains for consumers. So the key thing is how do we reference the essay? Now, a reference comes at the end. Please avoid excessive use of footnotes. Footnotes are a little bit literary and they are included in the workout, whereas the reference is not, providing you reference the essay properly. So let's have a go. Let's have a go. So we're going to go to, for, let's take for example, uh, let's go to the, the, the article I found. Okay, it was an article, Why Americans Love the Sharing Economy by Jared Mayer. It's an abstract from a recent book. So let's see how we very quickly reference this. Stay with me. Here we go. Follow my, follow my uh, system here. So it's about, it's by Jared Mayer. Uh, it's the article is uber positive. So I'll just copy that. Let's go to our reference generator. Now the reference generator, there are many of them on the web, but the best one, I think, is if you go to Queen's University of Belfast, qub.ac.uk and um, search for the Harvard Reference Generator. Just go to Google and just type in Harvard Reference Generator QUB and you'll get to this page. And it allows you to choose the, and it just does it for you. So is it a book? Is it a journal article? Is it a website? Is it a newspaper article? Is it a particular chapter from a book? You can choose your resource and it will automatically tell you what to put in. This is gonna be an e-journal article uh, because it's from the National Review, okay? But here we go. So the Jared Mayer is the um, is the author. Publication is two thousand sixteen. The article is, is actually this one. It's going to be that one. Whoops. Let's put it in the website as well. Oh, there we go. I see why. So that's the title of the article. Uber positive. The title of the journal is the National Review. Don't necessarily need to know too much about the volume of the issue number, that's fine, or the page reference, but you do need to put in, you do need to put in the um, the full web address. That is important for using the web, full web address, please. And we accessed it today, 8th of June, 2016. That's all the information I think we're gonna need. The other stuff is a bit superfluous there. Then you just click generate reference, and it's automatically created. Uh, that reference for me, which is kind of cool. And uh, there we go. I just need to copy and paste that into my essay. So I go back into my essay when I'm ready. And I can add a reference. Paste special. Let's whack it in. There it is. And if you're quoting Mayer in the essay, you just, just the start of the reference, copy and paste that. And just copy and paste it in. Jared Mayer, 2016, as argued. That is a referenced piece and that has to match, the text has to match the reference. Now, you could, all, you could call it cited references because you're citing a particular author, a particular article, a particular view. Now, you know, you could be on the web, you could find an article, I don't know, the LSE Business Review, George Petropoulos has written an article that is exactly the same. Date, find the date, find the website, and fill it in. That will be a website. So the reference generator, you would choose website. Uh, maybe slightly different. There it is. It would be the author, 
title available at it and that's all you have to do for the website okay so let's do that one this is LSE business review and uh, let me go to the websites uh, we'll come back to the uh, available at so it's a blog from the LSE business review blog that's quite interesting I'll probably have will have used that available at full website 8th of June 2016 that's quite important the author easy to copy and paste isn't it George is the author and if there's two authors let's put both in and the last updated what we think it was does it say I've got a feeling it was March 2015 so 2015 is fine again slightly different from the book or entirely different from the website generate the reference and it appears down here and somewhere in the main text I would have referenced George's article but I go back to my website go back to my uh, essay and uh, add that to my list of cited references you can arrange in alphabetical order when you're when you're ready now that's hopefully pretty straightforward actually if, you, if you're quoting if you found something on Google um, if you go to Google Scholar and you found a particular paper academic paper or an article or a section of a book in fact Google very helpfully allows you to, to do with using the Harvard system straight away so for example um, citation Airbnb and the unstoppable rise of the share economy if you click on site site hopefully this will work well, there we go and it, it's been cited in various places but of course it's been cited using the referencing system that we've been using so you can cite that straight away providing it's part of your text and part of your answer so using Google site if you know the precise author and source of the information that can go in when you're ready uh, format it nicely probably best to do it alphabetically and there's your referencing so what you're doing is you're building up a referencing which appears at the end of the essay we don't like footnotes we like references rather than footnotes okay well hopefully that makes sense I, don't, I think I've covered everything uh, I think so the key thing really is to just use this handy tool, Queen's University Belfast, qub.ac.uk, Harvard Reference Generator. There are other things available on the internet. They're pretty good, but this one works for me. We are so looking forward to reading your essays. They're coming in already, lots of good essays, and uh, the best ones are referenced. All of the best essays have to be properly referenced. Thanks, everybody. Hopefully it was uh, a help to you.